Yes, hello. For those who wonder, I've been giving myself a haircut with my uh, hair trimmer, you can say. <laughs> Something about that laying on the floor, trimming your own head, you have to be do it enough time so you get everything right. Seems right. Have a little bit tustus. Well, I don't know what you call it in English. Hair, hair tusts around, but seems okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to channel the felines. So I've been singing today. I wanted to do another George Michael song, but I don't know. I'm just up, not up to it. So it became more rock and roll. It's just too much. Yeah. Too hard to to uh, mimic his voice and yeah, I'm kind of rusty too. So I do try to give my best. And uh, but there's so much I can do now with. You need to practice to have more breath to give so singing is like everything else like channeling to you the more you do it the better you get if you don't do it well you get rusty <laughs> so okay enough about that let's channel Murdoch and see what he has to say Nishikata Shinaka Tishi Kaneta Ikishina Kanita Kusha Kataine Shaka Yes, greetings again, humans. This is the feline collective Murdoch speaking to you through this on our anchor here with many others of course so 2017 is here upon you and we have been talking that you are releasing a lot in these days that you are finding higher densities in yourself and in your heart you are releasing buckings you are looking at yourself who you are you are asking questions about some of the life styles on your earth which you feel may be out of alignment of who you are that you may miss the nature, that you may miss friends and loved ones, that you don't want to be sitting alone and be lonely. Yes, there are some activity here from the canine. We do have close relationships with the canine species, the humanoid canines, although there are, have always been some disagreement, and there always is, of course, skirmishes happen around the universe, and in this galaxy as in others in a polarity universe. But not at the level it happens down here, where everything is polarized in many ways and compartmentalized and also cut up in different pieces which are arguing and fighting among each other. 
So, this will end, of course, in the future, where you become more as one, one consciousness, one world in peace. And your animals will also stop arguing with each other, as they also understand that there is no point in it. Although, of course, some animals has developed to eat other animals. This will, we see will change when new humans arise in frequency and density. The animals will also change their evolution in time, of course. But you are the masters down here. You are the consciousness which have the responsibility to help Gaia up in her density to show that her consciousness is aligned to your own consciousness and she is now shifting into fourth and fifth density and she is pulling you with her as you go into the more densities in the galactic plane. So not only is your sun affecting you, but also the energies of the galactic plane and the dust balls which are of higher frequencies in your galaxy. And also Gaia is talking to you subconsciousness to help her to stop the manipulating touch which you have on her. So, as you humans have delved deeper into the third density, lower spectra, spectrums of this creation, you have, of course, polarized to a huge degree. But this is now releasing as the densities of frequencies and technologies are developing at a higher pace. Your world is becoming smaller and smaller and the separation is beginning dissolve, that you are feeling you are one with everything around you, that you are feeling you are one with your loved ones, your fellow humans. This is beautiful for us to see the raw creation development of your humans, which we also have a touch into your making and your genetic pool. Yes, the felines do very much care about you. Along with many others, there are some which do not care about you. And these are mostly being stopped now from coming into your earth density, a new plane. These are of high technology, of course. You can have bad intentions, but still be very technolo technological. But if you miss that love, that heart, you cannot come too far on these. No, that's the only way to have it their way is with fear and manipulating the energies around you and your consciousness. Although you have yourself chosen to release this and to let those of light come more into your life, which is very beautiful. Yes, this one is trying to create to align more with what makes him happy, although he has a lot of fear from past lives, 
from rejections and from family trauma and lives which he got deceived and manipulated warlike issues afraid of being deceived again so it's trauma which wants to release and also at the same time releasing fear and ego and addictions so to be in the turmoil where you are choosing one over the other and can't really make up your mind what you want because the third density is like locking you holding you down because of addictions and ways of doing things like continuing a wheel doing what you are used to do so this is can be hard to release for many to change this only to light and there is your assignment your work down here to continue to work on yourself and your problems or you wouldn't be down here if you wasn't here to release stuff, to learn stuff about yourself, to have that challenge. What do you need the best of yourself to succeed? Would it be fun if things was too easy? If the money come raining down from the sky or you didn't have any challenges around you where everything was laid in your hands this one do want that sometimes but he's understanding that for him to learn something he has to go through things but although we see that it can be too much sometimes that this can create kind of too much traffic through your chakras create blockings where you still hold on to old habits and uh, in many ways sexual habits and this can co-align with your ego and your fear creating blockages but it's up to you to release it with thinking positive understanding that it's just a part of you which needs to be released meditate heal talk to other humans about this do not be afraid to come forward who you are so we see this one struggling with this Although he is seeing and looking at himself, so he will come true when the time is right for him to do it. As you all have your own time to come true and your own challenges to go through and learn from down here. You are truly masters of your time. You are truly brave to be down here and living on earth in these times. We salute you, all of you. It doesn't matter what kind of lives you have been living before, where you are from, how old your soul is and how far you have come. You are all masters and brave souls to be down here now much love from the felines
our collective and Murdoch and the Orions. We love you and your sky will continue to shine for you as you arise. Arise humanity, become your true potential. Stand together, stand as one, and love each other no matter what you are, where you're from, what your abilities are. You do not need to be the best one to be a great one. Much love from us. Have a beautiful day. She can't eat much love until next time. Much love.